Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a beginner's tutorial on how you can use AnyDesk for your device. So let's get started. So if you've ever wondered how to effortlessly connect and collaborate remotely, this tutorial is your ultimate starting point. We'll navigate through the ins and outs of AnyDesk from installation to key features, ensuring you have the grasp of the essentials for the seamless remote work. Join us on this step-by-step -step journey and unlock the full potential of AnyDesk's powerful functionalities, making remote connections a breeze. So right here in the website of AnyDesk, which is AnyDesk.com, we have it right here and we can see it right here. Why choose AnyDesk? Because it's time-saving, customizable, secure, all platforms, access and control, administration and customization, security and privacy, and collaboration. So as mentioned by the developers right here, these are your reasons and why you should get AnyDesk. But as you may already know, that TeamViewer is the number one competitor of AnyDesk. But I personally like AnyDesk more. And yeah, it depends on your preference on which one are you most maybe used to. But for me, it's AnyDesk. And now what we have here. So we're going to click on the download right here so that we can start downloading our application and we can use the, the app right here. So we're going to go click on it and we're going to go download right here. And by the way, if you have some other devices that you're downloading this from, so maybe if you're downloading this from an iOS, you want to click on the iOS right here. But in my case, I'm using Windows. So I'm going to go for Windows right here and click on open right there. And as you can see, we now have the AnyDesk right here. But before we dive into this app, let's just first explore the website. And right here, by the way, if you want to get your uh, some mails into your email about AnyDesk, then you can get it here. Just provide your emails and click on this button right here. And let's go to click again on the homepage right here. And you can see what's new right here. So this is an updated tutorial. So let's see what's new. We have now the version 8 for AnyDesk right here. And it's this one is very trusted. And you can go for the pricing right here. So go to license configurator right here. If you're a single user, you're a small team or so on. So this is primarily used for uh, uh, tech support right here. So if you're a small team and so on. But if you're just a single years user, then you could just click on next right here and then you need a two connection right here. How many outgoing connection would you like? You need at one time. So probably you would need two to 20 and then click on X right here. And then from here, you could go for the features that you need right here. So let's say we would need uh, maybe deployment and user management right here, right there. So in my case, I'd be needing this one right here and click on next. And after that, we'll be going for the step four. And then I think we could go for in a desk cloud right here. And then now for the last step right here for the advanced license. Now, this is the advice price for us. So if you would like to use this professionally, then you can go and pay for this. But as in my case, I am just using this for personal use. So I don't really have to pay. I'm just using this for uh, just simple uh control on my device remotely and uh, that's all i need from AnyDesk. and then you have amazing customer support here for AnyDesk, so you don't have to worry about it if you're having trouble then you can always go with uh, any desk chat assistant and it would help you with any trouble that you may have and now that we're done with the website let's go proceed to the app so here we are in the app right here so from here what we're gonna do is we are gonna go for this address right here this is the most important one as you can see we have this and we can click on invite so that we can invite other people to have a session with us and from here we have a profile so if you have the screen sharing profile and this would be the permissions of that so screen sharing and you can see it right here they can hear my device sounds control my device restart my device and so on and you can see it right here screen sharing and then more click on more and then you can just customize right here which permissions you would want them to have or control over your computer. 
and you can go and check it right here or the profile right here you can go for unattended access and so on and yeah you can explore it on how you want it but that is basically how you do it right here so you can go for default and you can just adjust the permissions or the control right here by yourself so that you can be more precise and you would know everything that is permitted to do by your viewer or the controller of your device right here and remember that the invite duration is set to two minutes so you might want that to take note and then we're gonna go and go back right here and as you can see right here we have this lock icon and this would represent the password so i suggest that you set your password right here so that you would have a more secure account right here for your pc but in my case since this is just a tutorial then i'm not going to be setting a password right here but i suggest that you set a password first and let's go back right there to new session and from here you have your favorites so basically you would have your essences sessions right here your favorites that you have marked and so on right here and yeah and you would also have this right here so if you click on this right here you would be automatically uh, redirected to the uh, customer support of any desk so if you need any help click on this icon right here and as you can see we have the free license which means that we can only use this for personal not commercially because yeah we don't have the permissions and we can't use the features right here that is available for the premium version and now let's go into the settings right here click on this and then we have it right here so you can basically go to the settings by clicking this button right here click on this lock icon and then click on cancel right here and then you can basically do it right here and if you're having trouble with the display you can fix it right here with the audio right here and for the recording you can fix it right here the path recording and so on and the printer and yeah you can fix every problem that you have right here but if you can fix your problem that you have in your settings then what you can do is go and chat your customer support because any desk has great customer support so you can go and do it right here and contact support right here and you can go submit a ticket right here and you can wait for them to reply into your mail and so on just by clicking this i button right here so yeah that is basically it